Hey you guys, so I totally deleted the intro for this video and I just have a few clips inserted here of what you guys can expect during this video. This will be a highlight and contour routine, but it is a talk through version. I give you guys products and product alternatives and all this great stuff. So if you're interested in finding out what I use and what I do, definitely keep watching. So the first thing I want to be grabbing is my foundation that I'm currently wearing. I've already applied it and it is the L'Oreal Paris and Fiber Pro Matte Foundation in the color Soft Sable. I absolutely adore this foundation. It's one of the first foundations that I haven't had to mix with another color to get it perfect now. Just because I don't have to mix it doesn't mean that you guys don't have to mix it. I'm just telling you that I personally don't have to mix it because it is like my perfect shade. And I also like it because it's like demi matte. Um, it's not so matte that it's drying, but it does give you like a matte finish. So that's really cool. And I think this is like $11.99 at Ulta. It's kind of high, but I think it's worth it as far as drugstore foundations go. So I just applied this all over my face with a damp Real Techniques beauty sponge. So now actually getting into the process of highlighting contouring, I'm first capping my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the color Toffee. As you can see, I have exhausted this product. I am in love with these. I actually have like a drawer full of them on my makeup desk. I just love these products. They are only $2.99 at like my local beauty supply store. And I think you can also find them online for like $2.99 or $3.99 or something like that. I will have it linked down below just in case you can't find these in your local beauty supply store that you can just get them online. So what I like to do is just obviously apply this in the areas that I want to highlight. So first I'm just going to go under my eyes. And if you watched my last video, I was really demonstrating that you guys just make basic shapes on your face. So here you're gonna see that I made just a, almost a triangular shape um, just under my eyes. And kind of bring that up um, across the top of my cheekbone. And I'm putting a, a decent amount of product because I want my highlight to really be popping, y'all. So now I'm just doing the same thing under the next eye. And I'm also going to highlight down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and on my forehead. On my forehead, I'm just going to do just a few little lines, nothing major. And same thing on my chin. So now that I have all of those areas mapped out, I'm grabbing my Real Technique sponge. And this is damp. And it's a little dirty. I couldn't get it clean, like super clean. For some reason this time but i like to use this sponge it's only i think five or six dollars at ulta so definitely go grab one it's not as good as the original beauty blender that you can get at sephora but for six bucks it does a damn good job and so we're just going to blend this highlight color all the way out And what I love about this sponge more so than a beauty blender is that it has this flat edge to it and it also has the pointed cone in that a normal beauty blender has. You can get into small little areas on your face. And I'm bringing this down and around under the bottom of my nose, like under my nostrils. And you want to make sure that your beauty blender is damp and not soaking wet. Mine is super wet right now. And so it's making my highlight look a little splotchy. Um, so you definitely want to make sure that it's not too much water in your sponge because your highlight is not going to blend as well. Or you can just go back and do a lot of back work on the end like I'm going to have to do. I think the children are outside playing basketball now. The next thing that I like to grab is actually a brush and it is the Morphe M13 brush. I have raved about this in other makeup tutorials. It's just perfect for blending out like cream products and liquid products, especially concealers. So I'm going to use this to help blend out any edges just before I start my contouring process. Now in my last 
highlight and contour video. Uh, for my setting powder, for my highlight, I mixed the Ben Nye Banana Powder and the Ben Nye Topaz Powder. Um, since that video, I really didn't do that. I did it for like just during the summertime, but I have, have not done it since then. Um, I actually just used the banana powder on its own, but then I realized it was just giving me very yucky flashback and it also just made my face just look super ghostly. And so I have not been using this. I will still link this down below for those of you who still want to try it. Um, but I have transitioned over to Sasha Cosmetics and I have their Buttercup setting powder and this stuff is bae like for real so i will be grabbing my real techniques uh beauty sponge again for this process of just setting my highlight and um as you can see the powder just kind of sets in the top and i'm just going to kind of dab that in there and then kind of tap off any excess product and then i'm just going to go in and place this all over my highlighted areas and sometimes I do bake with this, but I kind of like how it looks if I just press it in. So I first go over the areas um, and then I just go back and press it in. The color of it is more rich than the color of the Ben Nye Banana Powder. So this is definitely suitable for like darker skin tones um, more so than the Banana Powder is. The Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm kind of just pressing that in just to kind of, you know, set that highlight. And I'm going to take that down my nose, chin area, and on the forehead, just pressing that baby in. So in my last highlight and contour video, you guys know that I used my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa to contour with. This was also my favorite for a very long time and I actually just recently stopped using it only because I found a better product that just had a better color and I just like how it looked on my face. And that is the um, color chocolate out of my Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. Now this thing is $40. Um, it's a lot for a cream kit. This is something that I kind of kept away from myself for a very long time. I wanted it for several months before I actually got my hands on it. And when I got it, I still didn't use it for another two months or so. Um, but I've just really grown to love this color right here to contour with. If you don't have $40 to spend on a cream contour palette, I do have an alternative for you. You can just stick to the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Like I said, these are $2.99 at your local beauty supply store. Or you can use NYX's cream contour kits. And you guys, I it took me so long to get my hands on these. I would always see this one in medium. And you can see these colors are kind of light for me. I can't contour with any of these shades. Um, usually when um, there are palettes, I usually do get medium. Like this is the medium Anastasia kit. But the medium one for NYX is super light. Um, so after visiting Ulta for over a year, they finally stocked the dark one or deep, I think. Yeah, this is deep. And um, it just sells out super, super quick. But these colors are a lot darker than a medium kit. This would be a good kit to use just like strictly for like highlighting. Um, but this is definitely one if you're like my, about my skin tone, maybe a little, a little darker or definitely lighter, you can use this to contour with in place of getting this kit for $40. You can see you still have the color correcting, like orange salmon color. You have a contour color. You have several highlight colors. They aren't as deep as the ones in this kit, but this is definitely alternative for way cheaper. I don't remember the price of this, but I will have a link down below as well. But for today's video, I'm going to stick to what I know, and it is this baby right here. The tool that I'm going to be using to contour is this Luxie 504 Large Angle Brush. I've always been one to just love using an angle brush to contour with. It just makes application super easy in my opinion. And I think this brush came out of an Ipsy subscription bag that I had maybe over like a year ago. Um, I didn't really like Ipsy, but this is one of the best products that I ever got because I still use this. So I just like to kind of dip this into the product. I know that's probably really dirty, but since I'm the only one using it, you know, I just do what I want. And so I just kind of brush each side into it. And then... I 
tilt my head to the side and I just go to work. I just go to work, y'all. And I'm applying this in the hollows of my cheeks. I'm going to also apply this up and around my forehead. When I apply this in the hollows, I do it in swiping motions. But when I'm going to go around my forehead, you're going to see I kind of massage that baby in, in a circular motion. So definitely make sure you pay attention to that. Also, make sure you pull your hair back too. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. When you're going around your forehead, you also make sure you want to take it upward and backward towards your hairline and not too far down onto your face. And then I'm going to just grab a little more color. As you can see, you can kind of see the line of where the contour um, kind of starts. I'm definitely going to make sure to go blend that out. So next I'm just going to take a stiffer uh, angled contouring face brush. Um, I think this is a yeah, BH Cosmetics brush and it came in a kit and the, the set couldn't have been that much. And I'm going to take this color Cinnamon which is a little bit lighter than the contour color I used at first. And this is just going to help me blend out the edges of that contour color. Because I didn't want to spend too much time blending the same one color. So um, when I'm feeling lazy like that, I just go in with a second lighter color to kind of help with that. Now taking the excess product on this brush, I'm just going to go under my chin. And then last but not least, I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. So just taking that chocolate color one more time. And I'm only using a small amount of this. This is a, another BH uh, Cosmetics brush. And this is just a random brush that I sometimes use for my eyeshadow. And I'm just going to take this down the size of my nose. And then one more time with my favorite brush ever, which is my Morphe M173 brush. I don't wipe any product off of it that I used before. I just take it even with some of that highlight color and then I just go in and blend out that contour. Um, with that product still being on there, it just makes the colors just blend, blend, blend so beautifully together and my contour doesn't like overpower my face. Seriously, if you don't have this brush, you need to get it because I promise you guys, it works miracles. I'm just going to go ahead and add my blush in today. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, today I'm going to be using my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer. And I'm just going to apply this with this BH Cosmetic Fluffy Face Brush. And I'm just going to take the pinky color out of here. It's not going to really show up super pink on me, but it's just going to give me a small amount of color and a small amount of shimmer and that's exactly what i'm going for and then same with the bronzer i'm just going to go right up under that slightly above the contour and slightly below the blush Now I'm going to be taking my favorite highlight of all time. I have not come across a drugstore highlight that is comparable to this highlight. Um, it is MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish and Gold Deposit. You guys know I've been raving about this product. Like I said, I haven't found a dupe. I'm on the search for one because this bad boy is $32. Um, to me, it's totally worth it. The results are amazing but that's a little steep as far as price goes so i'll definitely try to find a dupe and if i do find one before i upload this video i will link it down below so i'm just going to put this on the tip of my little nose um on my cupid's bow and then on the highest points of my cheekbone area and i'm going to actually use that same brush that i used to apply the uh blush and bronzer I'm just going to kind of sweep this at the highest points. And it just really gives me a nice golden glow. And then a little bit 
on the forehead but just a small small amount because we don't want to highlight too much of the forehead especially if you're like me and you have a larger forehead okay so i don't know how i forgot to do this i had to just go get up and get it but this is my mac mineralized skin finish face powder in the color dark and i usually set my entire face with this before i even add my highlight but since i didn't do that today um i'm definitely going to just put this of the areas where the highlight is not so i really um don't disturb it but i kind of set everything else and i want to just let you guys know that um i've never really used like an all over the face powder however i will tell you guys that it just makes everything just blend super seamlessly and as you can see i'm going slightly over the highlight it's just going to help it kind of just better blend into my skin. Just better. Everything seems more seamless. So now that that's all done, I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus spray, of course, and give a few shots of this to my face. So kind of holding it back a little bit. I really don't like this part. It just makes me super duper nervous for some reason. So. Okay, now I'm about to go do my lip color and I will be right back. So you guys, that was my updated highlight and contour routine. I have pretty much just been doing that forever in a day now and I have just really grown to love this routine. It kind of went haywire because my beauty blender, well my Real Technique sponge was a little too wet and I had to go back and do a lot of fixing. But as long as you don't do that, then you shouldn't screw up like I did. Um, I decided to just keep all of that in this video just to show you guys in real life people make mistakes and it's makeup you can go back and fix it that's the beauty of makeup so if you guys are interested in like my lip combo and what shadows are on my eyes i will also have that down below for you as well as links um to the stores for all the products that i use in this video and uh, that's pretty much all that i have to say so i will see you guys in my next one bye so boy take my Let's go to